Uh, so we look at a grappling technique. It's a hip lock. Now, our legs and our arms are very much the same in how they function. Our feet and our hands are similar. They have exactly the same range of motion, but they do have similar ranges of motion. Our knees and our elbows are, in fact, very, very similar. Our shoulders and our hips are. So the locks you can do with the arms, you can kind of sort of do with them with the legs, too. Now, it's harder because we're talking about much bigger muscle groups. Right? So we have to use more of our body to do it. The knee bar is very similar to Jiu Jitsu Tommy. Um, we can do we can do class wrist locks, we do turning the ankles, very similar motions to it. So this time we're going to go after hip, we're going to go after shoulder. Now, so this one we're going to do with our guard. Now, if we start here, he's got his guard locked on, we take a basic principles, we're back, our back straight, we're looking at the price line, we're not bent down here, we can break it down. My hand is into his hip joint, keeping my back straight. Now this time to break it open, we're going to stand. Okay. So to stand, I'm going to keep my weight back, I'm going to open up, and I'm going to bring my foot here tight to him, I'm pinching with this. Okay. I'm on my balls and my feet, so I'm not going to come forward when I do this, I'm going to move back, I'm going to go up, here. Okay. See how he opens up a bit? He hasn't really left this point. What I want to do is pinch him with my arm. Now the lock is, I'm going to target this, this hip that's on this side here, and to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring this leg over to this hip. Okay. So I'm going to move this leg in to get balance. Turn. See so as I open him up. Right here. His foot's here. I'm going to grab. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to now bring his heel towards his head and sit down. Right there. All right. So I'm turning. Hmm. And I want to bring this leg forward so it stops him from moving too far off to the side. Sometimes they'll roll to the back, it's fine. There's lots of things you can do. But quite often, if you can get that, this side locked down so it can't swing it underneath, they'll start targeting the hip and get that angle. So we're going to open in. My weight's back, it's not forward. Right? Up. I break this. I'm going to bring this leg forward, block this off so he can't. Grab my heels and dummy me back by sweeping. Keep my back straight. This heel here is going to come right in here, right by his hip. Now I want to be right, right on his hip here. I don't want to be out here. You can see the pressure's off, right? But if I'm here, look. so now all I do is I'm going to turn and sink. Right there. Okay, just right in there. This is very similar to doing more. Time. Good. One more time. Good. So, open foot. Your foot's nice. You're tight. When he's putting your pressure in, does it open up back? Here. From here, bring it forward. Block that off. Keep that down. Here, hands on the knee. I'm going to bring this over. I'm going to bring it right down tight to his head. See? If I don't, he can turn his hip. He can roll over back. So I want to bring this down right there. Okay? Squeeze the knees and just turn it in right there. See so that? Once again, very similar to very similar to a tool camera style lock. You do on the shoulder, and you only work with the hips. Okay.